Hello everyone, my name is Varun Ravi Kumar. I am pursuing my PhD in the domain of deep learning at value. Today, I would like to present my paper, Fisher Distance Net, a self-supervised scale-aware distance estimation using monocular fisheye cameras for autonomous driving. First off, I would like to present the motivation behind our work. The main motivation for estimating distances on fisheye cameras is due to its large field of view. By using fisheye cameras, we can attain a 360 degree near field perception around a vehicle. With this large FOV, we can certainly have use cases like automated parking, low speed maneuvering and emergency braking. Despite its prevalence, there is limited work on distance estimation on fisheye cameras. A brief overview as to why we are interested in depth. Well, depth is crucial when it comes to understanding the world around us, such as navigation and mapping. So if you are a robot, you would like to know where you are, where you want to go and how far away are things. If you want to grasp things and if you want to interact with the physical world around you, depth is also crucial. Finally, if you want to do non-physical interactions such as augmented reality, let us say I want to place an object on the table right there. I want to know how big is this table and how far away is it. I would like to list out few challenges of fisheye distance estimation. Firstly, there is no publicly available fisheye dataset for automated driving. Henceforth, we are releasing our distance estimation dataset along with our Woodscape dataset which contains other tasks as well. Off-the-shelf algorithms like OpenCV semi-global matching on rectified stereo image pairs won't work for fisheye due to its strong non-linear distortions. To perform view synthesis using fisheye images, we would require scale-aware distance estimates. The non-uniform angular resolution leads to ambiguity in the center region for the network's distance estimation. R well, rectification alleviates the above issues but it induces resampling distortion and reduced FOV. Proposed solution for estimating distance on raw fisheye image is as follows. Coming to the self-supervised training strategy, let us consider three temporal consistent raw images. IT minus 1, IT and IT plus 1. They are passed through the distance estimation convolutional neural network which is an encoder decoder based design which outputs a distance estimate for each image in the sequence considered. IT minus 1 and IT are concatenated and passed to a pose network which predicts rotations and translation to make a transformation from IT minus 1 to IT and IT to IT plus 1. For a fisheye image, we can only obtain angular disparities compared to a rectified pinhole image. To perform view synthesis, we would require metric distance estimates to warp the source images to the target images. This was one of the main challenges to perform fisheye distance estimation. To do so, we solve the scale factor ambiguity at training time by considering the ego car's speed into account. We scale the estimated translation from the pose network with a simple velocity time model to obtain metric distance maps. By introducing scale awareness to the network as shown in the previous slide, we can obtain metric distance maps as the output. This avoids scaling of the distance using LIDAR ground truth maps at test time. This mainly facilitates the distance map's practical use case for self-driving cars. Coming to the losses, we introduce a photometric error warp for both forward and backward sequences. More constraints are enforced by adding a cross-sequence consistency loss. The induced bundle adjustment framework due to this loss jointly optimizes the camera poses within a sequence by increasing the baseline and also provides additional constraints during training. One of the crucial decisions to the network's design is the usage of deformable convolutions and pixel shuffle layers to our encoder-decoder based network. For effective detailed preservation of the decoded features, we leverage the concept of sub-pixel convolutions to our network to combat the non-uniform angular resolution of pixels as well. So coming to the deformable convolutions, regular convolutions are operated on a regular grid R 
whereas deformable convolution is performed on R but each point augmented by a learnable offset delta P. To accommodate the distortion introduced by fisheye cameras, the key aspect here is replacing the normal convolutions with deformable convolutions since regular CNNs are inherently limited in modeling large unknown geometric distortions due to the fixed structures such as filter kernels, fixed receptive field sizes. Main contributions of our work are listed as follows a self-supervised training strategy that aims at inferring a distance map from a sequence of distorted raw fisheye images. A solution to the scale factor uncertainty with a bolster from ego motion velocity allows outputting metric distance maps. A novel combination of super resolution network and deformable convolution layers to output high resolution distance maps using low resolution input. We depict the importance of forward and backward sequences and construct a loss for these sequences. The incorporated bundle adjustment framework using cross-sequence consistency laws jointly optimizes distances and camera poses within a sequence by increasing the baseline and providing additional consistency. Coming to the quantitative results, are results on pinhole as well as fisheye images. Our approach outperforms the previous state-of-the-art results in most of the metric sections. The pinhole depth estimates are capped at 80 meters. It is important to note that due to the geometry of the fisheye, it would not be a fair comparison to evaluate the distance up estimates up to 80 meters. Our fisheye cameras can perform well up to a range of 40 meters. Therefore, we also report results on a 30 and a 40 meter range. We do not scale up predictions with LIDAR ground truth during test time as we achieve scale aware depth estimates. Some qualitative results from a model on Woodscape and Kitty dataset. A model fisheye distance net produces a sharp distance estimates and incorporates the distortion introduced by fisheye images which can be seen in the top left and top right images. Due to, due to the usage of subpixel convolutions over normal upsampling, sharp high quality distance estimates are obtained which can be seen in the bottom row, bottom left image. I would like to showcase a few distance estimate snippets on test sequences from our Woodscape dataset. As we can see in this video near the edges, the large distortions from the fisheye cameras. Let us look at few snippets from the Kitty dataset compared with previous state of the art approaches. I would like to conclude our work where we introduced a self-supervised training strategy to obtain metric distance maps on unrectified fisheye images. We also established state-of-the-art results on Woodscape and Kitty dataset and proposed a potential CNN-based approach that can be used to replace current classical depth estimation on fisheye images. To encourage further research in this area, we will make our Woodscape dataset public you can be seen here for different perception tasks and the respective annotations. The distance estimation will be part of it and will be made public soon. Well, that's it from my side. Thank you everyone.